Hello everyone and welcome back to the mathematical mindset. So right here we have this algebra problem and we are to find the value of A and B. And A and B are elements of natural numbers. So guys, let's get started. So we have A square minus B square and this is equals to 15. Now making use of this identity that says if we have A square minus B square, this is equals to A plus B multiply A minus B. So applying this property, we have this to be a plus b multiply a minus b is equals to 15. So the next thing we want to do is to simply find out the factors of 15. And we have the factors of 15 to be 15 multiply 1, 1 multiply 15, 3 multiply 5, and 5 multiply what 3. These are the factors of 15. But here we want to simply consider the case that a plus b is greater than a minus b. So applying this case right here, we have 15 to be greater than 1, so we can easily apply this. Now we have 1 to be less than 15, so this is off. We have 3 to be less than 5, so this is out. And we have 5 to be greater than 3, so we have this. So we have this to be case 1 and this to be what? Case 2. So hence, we can say that applying these two cases, we have that a plus b multiply a minus b is equals to so for case one we have 15 multiply one we know that this is what case one and we also have that a plus b multiply a minus b is equals to five times three and this is what case two so let's solve for this separate so starting from case one we have that a plus b multiply a minus b is equals to 15 times 1 so this implies that a plus b is equals to 15 and a minus b is equals to 1 so adding in the two equation we have that a plus a is 2a this we can so add this so this is equals to 15 plus 1 is 16 so divide both side by 2 this we can so add this we have that a is equals to 16 divided by 2 is 8 so we have the value for it so at this point we are going to say for b solving for b we are going to apply this to the first equation which is a plus b equals to 15 and we have that the value of a is 8 so we have 8 plus b is equals to 15 making b subject we have this to be 15 minus 8 and b is equals to what 7 so for case 1 we have that a and b is equals to what 8 and what 7 so let's go on to solve for case 2 so for case 2 we have a plus b multiply a minus b to be equals to 5 times 3 so we have a plus b is equals to 5 and we have a minus b to be equals to 3 so we're going to add in the two equations so we have a plus a is 2a this we can add this so this is equals to 5 plus 3 is 8 so divide both side by 2 this we can add this so we have that a is equals to 8 divided 2 is 4 so we have been able to solve for a so let's find the value of b so we're going to say for b Applying it to the first equation, we have that a plus b is equals to 5. And we have that a is 4, so we have 4 plus b is equals to what? 5. Making b subject, we have this to be 5 minus 4. And b is equals to what? 1. So we're going to say for case 2, we have that a and b is equals to what? 4 and what? 1. So we have the two values of a and b from both case 1 and case 2. So at this point, let's simply verify to show if the answers are correct so we're going to say for the first value of a and b equals to what eight and seven so we have the expression to be a square minus b square equals to 15 so we have eight square minus b is seven so we have seven squares equals to 15 eight square is 64 minus 7 square is 49 and this is equals to 15 64 minus 49 is 15 which is equals to 15 so left hand side is equal to the words right hand side so therefore we can say that a and b is equals to what 8 and what 7 so let's simply verify for case 2 where we have a and b to be equals to what 4 and 1 we have the expression to be a square minus b square which is equals to 15 and we have that a square which is 4 we have 4 square minus we have b to be 1 which is 1 square and this is equals to 15 and we have 4 square is 16 minus 1 square is 1 and this is equals to 15 so 16 minus 1 is 15 which is equals to what's 15 so left hand side is equal to the what right hand side so we can easily say that a and b is equals to what's 4 and 1 so we find out that the two cases 
a valid solution to this algebra problem right here so with this guys i'm going to see you in the next video and if you have not yet subscribed to the mathematical mindset please do always click onto that subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video and guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up